We'll, of course, keep you updated on that throughout the show. But now let's head to Christmas being over. The gifts have been open. The holidays have gone by. And now there are just bills left to pay. Shannon Lee Simmons is a financial advisor at the New School of Finance in Toronto and joins us live from Burlington. Shannon, everybody wants to know the best way to pay off a credit card after the holiday. So what advice do you have for Canadians who maybe well, got into a little bit of debt? Yeah, so you'd be like most people. You wouldn't be alone in that. I'd say the first thing that you want to do is you kind of want to prioritize the credit cards and see if you can consolidate anywhere. So, you know, a lot of people will put some stuff on this card and some stuff on this card. So look at all the debt that you've accumulated and kind of prioritize based on the highest interest rate first. And if you do have a line of credit or anything like that, if you're if you're lucky to have one of those, you can consolidate the lower interest debt with the and pay off the higher interest debt. So that'd be like the first the first thing that you want to do is just to get organized. What happens though if you spread yourself maybe a little bit thin, you've overspent just a little bit, uh, should you be taking money from RSPs, savings, that sort of thing, what do you suggest? No, 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 those are definitely some uh, things to avoid. So a lot of times um, my clients will come in and they'll want to do that because debt is giving them you know, heart palpitations and they feel a lot of guilt about having that. Um, but the, the, one of the bad things that you can do is actually if you, especially if, you are, if you're working, if you take money out of your RRSP, that gets tacked onto your income. So you're going to pay income taxes. And the chances are that the rate that you'll pay income taxes is a heck of a lot higher than the rate of interest that you're going to pay even on a credit card at 19%. So taking money out of your RRSP is not necessarily the best thing to do. I would say that that would be some sort of last resort and maybe never, you don't ever even want to do that. If you've stretched yourself too thin, then there's only two levers that we have. We either bring in more money or we cut back expenses. So you, if you're not able to bring in more money with a side hustle or something like that, you may want to just look at where your spending's been going outside of the holiday season and maybe make a plan for a little bit of like a money detox over the next month. <laughs> um, so like if you can cut back more than is sustainable for than usual, um, just for a very short period of time, you'd be amazed what you're actually able to do if you can get the whole family on a on a bit of a money detox plan on a spending on a spending detox. That's some good advice. Shannon Lee Simmons, financial advisor at the New School of Finance in Toronto. Thank you so much for being with us.